Not much of a fiddler. But I've got a rotator cups plumb gone in this shoulder, you know, and, <laughs> and I can't hardly move it for the last two or three days. So you replace the... Replace the hair off and, uh, and tighten the wrap and... I don't remember whether Couldn't. I done anything to the stem and the crown inside or not, but... Put a new, bri new yeah, bridge and new, bridge and new pegs and... Magna tuners and new pegs and strings and sound post and a new bass bar. Could you make out that uh, the old tag that was on the inside of it? Yeah, yeah. It, and it brought out the the Joseph Ganeri, you know, you can see it. Is in it there. Joseph or Louis Ganeri? Joseph. Oh. And then there's the old boy's name. It's pretty plain. Yeah, I cleaned them up, you know, hmm. while I was in there. And, and so when do you think it was made? Oh, I don't know. It was, uh... It's older than I thought it was, you know, due to the, the wood, the density of the wood is, it's getting a little, hmm. I'd say it was made, well, I want to think mid-1800s. Yeah, well, that's, that's why I was guessing too, but, but uh, I remember my dad saying it was old when he got the, it. Uh, most of the time in the mid-1800s, you've already got bush and pago and the grafted scroll. Hmm. But this one ain't got them, but it's still, according to the to the wood, I'd say it was in the mid-1800s. It's got, it's had a little, you see, you can see this scroll up here. Yeah. See how it kind of waters off? See how it turns off a little? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's just an age, you know. It's huh. Nothing to worry about. See, you can see it there. Huh, there. I had, had no set. Well, a lot of people wouldn't, but I fool with them, you know, of course, I see all that stuff, you know. And, and it's, but it was definitely, I knew as soon as I see these f it was a Ganeri model, and, hmm. because it's got good wood in it. And, and now these two ebony pegs, I put them in because you've got to have some place to line this back when you put it back together, you know. Because mm. it'll be, if you don't, it'll scoot around with you. And this way you just drill a few pegs, and 90% of them is, comes that way with pegs in it. Now, should we be putting any kind of oil or yeah. wax or anything on it? or? It wouldn't hurt anything, you know, if you want to, but uh, it's got... It's got what they call uh, milk wood. It's put out by the Amish. It's what I put on it to clean it up with, you know. Hmm. But I didn't have, you can see a little varnish still on it, you see, in spots there. I mean, not varnish, uh, rosin. I'll get it right directly. And then all this is people shifting the bridge around, you know. Hmm. But you can see the base bar in there. See hmm. through that hole there. That it goes all the way oh, yeah, yeah. back to there. Huh. Now the other one was about this long, but it was straight. It carved in the top, you know. When they carved the top, they left the bar, you know. Common for them old fiddles to be that way, but they're not, they're never satisfactory, you know. They, they don't never sound as good. And, and, uh, hmm. But it'll... So, and you had to re-glue all this? Oh, yeah. It's, that's all. Been, like, what kind of glue? I used a uh, uh, tight bond. Franklin tight bonds, what I use all together. Because it sits up hard, then you can take it apart. Hmm. Hide glue, I, I, they, they, them old-timers said they hide glue was the only thing, but I've never had to hide glue to hold anything, you know. Hmm. It's, it, you can take it apart, all right, but but this Franklin, it's it's easy to put on. It cleans up easy, and and I can you can take it apart, you know, if you ever want to. So so you said that when it's in storage, we shouldn't shouldn't have to loosen the the pegs. Well, uh, it wouldn't hurt anything if you're going to put it, you know, like two, three, four years, and not play it, why? Well, yeah, I'd just go yeah. down. You don't have to all the way down or but loosen it some but or the, the problem of it, you can kinda of let it down easy. See that little sound post in there? Yeah. Now a lot of times them strings jump off, you know, while that sound post fall over. Oh. 
Because the tension on the wood is what's yeah, the pulling. tension, the strain is what keeps it set down on it, you see. But it's just a matter of a half a minute to set it back up, you know, if you've if hmm. you got the, what it takes to do it with, you know. Oh, the, some kind of just, something uh, to reach in there. Well, you, I just got a little thing. I just reach in there and I know, of course, I've set up a thousand of them, you know. Hmm. But you see, you can see the See, I've got an error in, on it there, Mark on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that goes down and out. Okay. See, this sound post is, you see how that fiddle's crowned there? Yeah. In, in the back? See, that sound post is sloped, you see. And if you don't, if you don't get this right, it'll just slide right out of there when you get it in mm. there. But then it's got to fit, you know, tight. From one side to the other, can't otherwise if you put it in a square, it'll just be catching on one corner, you know. Hmm. No, nope. I could talk for all yesterday evening on fiddles, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. won't make some and, yeah. because I, you know, I fool with them all the time. But every once in a while, I run into one that, that uh, takes my eye. You know, look and see the grain in that thing. See how fine it is. Hmm. Uh, boy, this is. Book match, you see, it goes from here down. See how it gets as it gets out, it gets a little wider. Huh. Same way on this side, you see. But this is cut in half, you know, they cut it in half and put it together, and then that's the reason they call it book match. But the back is some of the same way, you see. They've done a good job of matching, see, the grain. Hmm. Pretty much, this is off just a hair bit. But I've saw them with the grain coming up, matching the sides. All of them, but oh yeah, all the way around. It takes a lot of, it takes a lot of, they waste a lot of lumber. So doing it, you know. No guess on where this was made, or. Oh, I could guess, but that's about all it'd be. Yeah. You know, it's uh, there was a uh, wherever it was made. It was made in a good school because whoever built it knew what he was doing. You know, it's good inside. You know, it's it's uh, got corner blocks. You know, across here. And that, and how did you read that old label that was at? I mean, what Joseph Ganeri? Oh, what, Joseph Ganeri. Yeah. yeah, Joseph Ganeri copy. But, that's what it did. But then the old boy, you see, it's plain in there now. We built it back there in nineteen twenty something. October nineteen nineteen twenty seven. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah, that, my, that my, been a long time ago. Well, uh, my dad had it then. It was uh, the uh, the guy who re rebuilt it for him. I it's, thought about putting a tag in it, you know, that I'd rebuild it, but then I, uh, he might not want it. I don't know <laughs> what it does. So. But it's uh, eventually in the next hundred years, you'll wind up putting a fingerboard on it. See how much thinner it is up here? Hmm. Than here. Is that just from, from where? Or? Well, somebody has done it to raise the action up, you know. Oh, oh, huh. What, what, what sort of strings are these? Those are prim. But you see the neck is... Uh, look down it, and you can see what I was telling you. I see from here to here, I bowed down. Where, yeah, yep. Hmm. See, that neck is tiny. And then this is laminated, so it makes it stay... Hmm. Because they'll always say, stay roostered. That's the reason why it don't get worse than they are. But I thought about putting a new fingerboard on, and I could have straightened all that out, you know. Mm. With it, but then, and we'll see how, figured, see how it plays. And I figured you wanted to kind of leave it pretty much original. And, yep. and I would have, you know, if it had been an heirloom for me. And, and, and I'd say it was... Within six months, it'll be a lot better fiddle than it is now. Hmm. It takes them about about six months to come around, you know, after you've had them apart. Usually overnight, it makes a difference. Hmm. And the old case, I just kind of redone it because I figured you wanted to keep it for the fiddle. And, yep. And uh, I put this thing in it, and I put this in it, and of course I put this liner in it. It's just some stuff I had around there. And, and it's got fine tuners, you see. Mm. Of course, a lot of times these will stick and then they'll move and it's hard to get it right down to a 
nitty gritty, you know, like you want to tune it. But uh, so you think your friend Bob Holt could he have put uh, it, Bob Holt could he have played a tune on it? <laughs> I bet you he could. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Bob, did you did you ever meet the guy? Uh, no, didn't. Not that I remember. I played with him thirty five years, you know. And, uh, mm. We had a lot of good times. We played all over the world. And, mm. Well, my there. dad supposedly he played all over Missouri and the Midwest, and we played barn dances and. Fortunate enough to get to play for Hillary Clinton once. Mm -hmm. Well, we was around her all week, you know, and she she was a different lady altogether than she was on television. Yeah. Of course, that was back when she was young, you know, like then she was mm. 25 or 30 years old then. Well, what song do you think was probably something real common my dad would have played on this, like the Missouri Waltz or? Well, it could have been the Missouri Waltz is the state song, yeah. you know. I'd say the 8th of January or, or uh, uh, what's that other than that, they call it, uh, I feel like I can't think of my own name anymore, <laughs> but they call it Payday for the Soldiers or something, I don't know, it's mm. Soldier Joy, that's what it is. Yeah. But that's, but you know that my dad was a fiddler. And I can remember going to fiddle, I mean, to dances and music parties when I was five years old, you know. But the first tune, one of the first tune or three was 8th of January and going across the sea and got a little home to go to, you know. And that was about some of the old tunes that I can remember and they're still, hmm. still played today, you know. Yeah, yeah that was, uh, we were lost that in the fire, but... Um in 63, when I was a baby, uh, he he had uh, loaned it out to a guy. Oh, well. And uh, then our house burned down. Well, that's, I loaned, I had an old D-18 Martin guitar. I sold it to my brother-in-law. And his house burned, it burned in the house. Huh. It was a great instrument. You know. yeah. It was 1941, your water, you know. But it was uh, hmm. unfortunately is in you know, his house when he burned. Yep. But he was a great picker. He was a good guitar player. You know. You know, it'll this will wind up with either Blake or Austin, his older brother, two years older. He plays guitar and some. And have you been uh, trying to play guitar? I tried. Be, it was not very good. It'll be. Huh. Yeah. It'll be around a long time. Like I said, you may have to repair, replace that fingerboard sometime. Yeah. You know, and yeah. if it comes loose, if it happened to the humidity or something, of course I didn't have it off. It that glue's old, so on. When it if it comes loose, well that neck will just come around, start building right up. Huh. If it if it happened, to, the fingerboard comes loose sometime or other way. Yeah. Have it fixed because it's uh, okay. Well, I'd say food's about ready to be served in here. Okay. Well.